We'll jump back up at the top of these uh these games here, and we'll get to. I see you in there, Cody. He's asking uh, some college football questions. We'll cover some of that stuff here in just a little bit. We're gonna run through the rest of these NFL lines. Some of these games we won't have to cover too much on uh robert but uh, i do want to talk about this patriots Bengals game because the line's kind of creeping down there it was at nine and a half now it's gone all the way down to seven and a half here on draft kings some spots still have it at eight to eight and a half just depends on where you find it. that's why you got a line shop y'all line shop out there and find the best uh value on your money what do you think about this one you know patriots obviously gonna start to kobe Brissett. he's a scrappy guy we talked about him when we talked about gardner Minshew. we do like his uh resiliency there but I don't know that he's the guy that can really handle business. He's got to go on a road to a Bengals team. Joe Burrow coming back here. The defense, though, for the Bengals, I'm not impressed with. And the offensive lines had their struggles over the last couple of years. Joe Burrow got sacked 72 times that year they went to the Super Bowl. So can Joe Burrow stay healthy? Jake Browning stepped in last year, filled in admirably as a backup quarterback there. But we all know he's not the guy that's going to lead them to the promised land. It all rides on the legs and the arm of Joe Burrow. you got Joe Mixon's gone. You got the young uh, young guy, Chase Brown, at running back. Now, what do you think about this game, Uncle Bob? Why is this line going down? Uh, that, must, that must mean they think Jamar Chase is not going to play week one. Right. The, uh, so because of the contract holdout by Jamar Chase and the conflict with the Bengals, uh, it you know looked like they were going to fix it, but I guess not. Uh, the, that This line movement suggests they're increasingly skeptical of whether he plays because – the public's all over the Bengals because they not because they love the Bengals, but because everybody hates the Patriots this year. Yeah, I think they're going to be the worst team in the NFL, maybe the worst team in years in the NFL. They see a a, a makeshift offensive line, a rookie and career backup at quarterback, uh, no clear uh, number one wide receiver. Uh, they traded away uh, one of their top defensive players uh, to Atlanta. The, another one of their top defensive players is out with a health issue and no Belichick to coordinate and scheme up that defense week after week. So I see why I originally leaned Patriots when it was close to 10. Mm -hmm. Cause I thought it just might be an overreaction right. that the Bengals, the Patriots, I mean, Brissett's been a very competent backup in the NFL mm -hmm. usually keeps the floor from falling in. And, and they still had plenty of talent on that defense. Christian Gonzalez back from injury and he was having a great year before last year. And so I thought that they could hang in. And then, of course, the notorious slow start of Joe Burrow. I mean, right. uh, basically with Joe Burrow, bet against him the first two weeks, bet on him from week five after. Uh, that, that's, that's been the M.O. on him so far in his early career. And they're you know making some changes on uh, in terms of coaching changes with the offensive coordinator leaving for the Tennessee Titans head coaching job. So you had and, – and I love the Bengals defensive coordinator, but they've missed – on replacing talent-wise key players. And then they lost another key defensive lineman in the offseason. But if it gets down to seven, I'm betting the Bengals. Uh, you know, the right. Uh, so that that's how I see it. Yeah, I, I think this one's gonna wind up being a stay away from me. Total's kind of a weird spot, 40 and a half right there. And I do have a lot of question marks. You you made all those points about Joe Burrow early on and everything. It just feels like this is weird to me. I know Jamar Chase is probably not going to play, but I don't feel like he's worth two points in that spot against a team you, we expect to be really, really bad here. And Jacoby Brissett, we've talked about, is solid, but he's not going to lead you to the promised land by any means. So I think I just got to stay away from this game. There's some weird stuff going on here. Like I said, if it drops down to seven, then the, you know those ears perk up a little bit, and you almost have to take the Bengals for the value, in my opinion. But I think right now it's seven and a half. That's just a weird line to me, and it's going down the wrong way against a team that I think is going to be terrible. Bengals are at home, so I'm probably just going to wind up staying away from that game.